Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So guys, I've decided to start a new project. Um, this project's going to take a bit of time. Uh, it's something different that I've not done before. Uh, obviously you guys know that my channel was mainly for gaming. But I thought I'd set myself a new challenge in life. So let's go ahead and have a look at what this new challenge is going to be. So here's my new project guys. Yes, it's a van. And to be precise, it's a Peugeot Boxer L4 H2, which means it's an extra long wheelbase. So what I'm gonna be doing with this van is I'm gonna be converting it into a camper van. So guys, come and join me on this new adventure on building this camper van. Well, I will be posting on a weekly basis and all these videos are up to date. So let's go ahead and make a start. Right guys, so one of the first jobs that we're going to do today is we're going to take off this bulkhead. Now, to do this bulkhead we've got some 10mm bolts all around the side of it and we've also got these uh, cargo catches down the bottom which by the looks of it they might be a T4. Um, so let's go ahead and start taking the bulkhead off. What I'll do with these two top ones here, I'll just loosen them off until I get the rest out. Because we don't want it falling on top of us when we go to take it out. So we've got another bolt down here at the bottom. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll tilt you down a little bit. Well, down the bottom here, we've got, a, we've got another bolt here and we've got two of these cargo points that we have to try and take out now. So looking at that, that one down there, it looks like it's a 13 mil. See, I'm good, isn't I? Email. Well, that's that one out. Next, we've got to try and do these cargo points. That one's out. That's that one out. They came out quite easily. I'm going to keep hold of them cargo points that we just pulled out the bottom there because when I do the bed at the back there, we're going to be sleeping across. And the plan is underneath the bed is going to be my garage. So with these cargo points, I might be able to put some back to be able to strap things down. So we'll keep hold of them to, just to see what happens. So what we've got now, guys, is we've just got the last two bolts on the top and then hopefully we should be able to get that bulkhead out. Well that's looking promising guys, I just took the last two bolts out and it fell forward. So let's go ahead and give it a lift to see if we can get it out. opened up the van now so it looks like we've got a lot more room in the van 
So that's good. So our next job then will be to try and take down all these side panels and we'll see what's behind them. So let's go ahead and make a start with taking this panel off. Hopefully we don't get any screws rusted in. There's your first one off. What we do, we keep hold of these balls because they might come in handy later on in the build. Yeah, it's pretty dirty behind there. Yeah, it's very, 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 very dusty behind there. Um, what I'm going to do now is the factory fitted board is right here. I'm going to go ahead and pop that off because what I want to do is the channel that's on the floor, I want to have a check of that to see if there's any water in it. Because if there's water in it, we're going to have to take all the side panels off outside and we're going to have to reseal them. Right, we're going to go ahead now and pull these off. It should just pull out, there's a little screwdriver and they should just pop out. Get a screwdriver and something behind them. There you go, just like that. So that's that one off guys. I'm going to keep hold of these because these plastics might come in handy as well. So I'm going to keep hold of them for now because we might find a use for them. So the next one guys, we're going to go ahead and take this big panel off next. So I'm just going to move the camera, so excuse me. Next, next one we're going to move is this panel here. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about this one because down in that bottom corner there, it's, it looks very damp. So, we'll see what's behind it when we get it off. So that one come off quite easily. Again, we're going to take off the factory ones. Right guys, it's just starting to rain outside, so it's getting a little bit darker in here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and set up a little bit of lighting. So, hopefully, the, the recording is not so dark, hopefully. And it'll benefit me as well to be able to see what I'm doing. So, Back in a sec, I'm just going to go ahead and set this up. Looks like we might have a delivery. Let's have a look, see if that's for me, guys. I have ordered lots of stuff in preparation for this build, so there's a delivery guy out there, so let's see if he's coming to us.
So I got that was a delivery for me. Uh, it's the shower walls have turned up. Um, I've pre-ordered plenty of stuff in advance. Uh, now I'm not a man of means where I can spend thousands upon thousands on this build. Um, so I will put links in the description of the stuff that I've purchased for this build. Uh, like I've bought the windows for both sides. I've also bought some uh, universal windows for the back, the little little 740 long I think they are. Um, I've bought some ceiling fans. Now I would love to fit the Maxi Plus but I can't afford them. They are expensive. I understand they're very good but for the budget that I'm on it's too much. So I've just bought two, two fans off eBay, um, which I will put, as the bill goes along, I will put, put in the description all the parts and where I got them from. So let's just carry on getting these panels off for now. And we'll go into the parts uh, that I use in more depth when I go to use them. So for now, we just go ahead and take these panels off. Almost forgot guys, I was setting up some lighting wasn't I? One sec. <laughs> okay I'll just put some light up, I don't know if that's any better but we'll go with that for now until I acquire a bit more lighting for the build. So I'm just going to go ahead now and carry on taking these side panels off. So again guys these are just factory ones, they're just put in with these little panel little plastic popper things they're quite easy to take out that's that one off. Now I'm just going to put my hand down in this gully here because these, especially sprinters, they're known for leaking and a lot of water goes down in these gullies. So I'm just going to put my hand in there because I can't see any water but I'm going to put my hand in there and check. You know, it's very dry in there which is good. That's good news. Uh, what I will say though, it's very dusty. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this one off from the back here now. Now the picture quality of this build ain't that great, I apologise. I'm not used to um, filming on a camera like I am now. Uh, my channel is mainly a gaming channel. Um, where I play a lot of uh, hunting and fishing games because that's my uh, passion in life. I, in, in IRL I, I do quite a bit of hunting and fishing um, and one of the reasons I'm doing this build is really holidays in the UK are getting very expensive. Now to do this build it's just me and my wife uh, my kids are growing up, I have grandchildren. Um, by doing this, we can just say, like, one weekend if we just want to go away for a weekend, we just get in the van and go. If we want to just go away to Cornwall, because we, we ourselves love Cornwall, uh, we can just decide, like, let's take a week off work and just, 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 just go. Uh, you, you get so much more freedom with a camper van. Um, so this is one of the reasons why we're building it. It's more more of a freedom thing to be able to do things. Because I don't know about you guys, sitting at home, you work all week, you go home, you're sitting at home. Uh, I get bored very easily. Uh, I have to be doing something on the weekends. 
Uh, I've done quite a few projects and this is something I've really wanted to do. Um, my wife not so much, but I think she'll come around to the idea of it. It, it will just give us so much more freedom. And again, if we want to go to, go to Europe, we could just get in the van, get in the Euro Tunnel and go. So that's, that's enough about me um, going on about one of the reasons why we're doing, I'm doing this build. So I'm wasting a bit of time here really. And I, so I need to go ahead and carry on getting these panels off. Oops, I snapped that one. <laughs> We're bound to break some ink sometime, aren't we? Oh, a lot of dust, but I'd, I'd rather have the dust than the wet. So, this is the corner I was a bit concerned about because there's a lot of uh, water in this corner. This, the ply on this corner is um, rotted from the damp. So I'm kind of hoping this way they've had the doors open quite a bit and the water's just getting in because I'm just filled down there. I can't see any evidence of the, the panels actually leaking from the outside. So like the sprinters, like I said, the sprinters, the panels, you tend to have to take them all off down the side of the van because the clips that they use are they're basically they're just crap. They leak water. Um, but the boxes seem, they seem okay, there's, there's no evidence of water leaking at all. So I'm hoping that the dampness is just from where they've kept the door open. So, so that's this side of the panels done guys. Um, we've got some more of these cargo points here. So I'm going to now go ahead and take them off because we don't really need them on there. So I'm now just going to go ahead and take them ones off. There's three of these along here. Um, my bit just fell out of me. <laughs> Don't want to lose that. So we've got three on the wall here, of these cargo clips. We've also got some on the floor. Now the ones on the floor I will attempt to get out in a little while um, because they tend to rust a little bit. But these ones here don't seem too bad. They look, look like they're galvanised. So they don't look too rusty in there, so hopefully them ones come out the floor quite easily. So I'm just going to carry on taking these ones out of the wall this side. So I just had another delivery turn up then, sorry about that guys. It's my two hot burner, which is going to be sitting over in my kitchen. I will, like I said earlier in the video, I will be leaving links in the description of the parts that I'm using and where I got them from. So, next job is we've completed the driver's side, I've taken all the panels off. So, my next job now is passenger side, I'm taking these panels off. So, I'm just going to go ahead and carry on with that now. Thank you. 
nice, nice. Look, I found an old napkin. A little uh, cotton or lace napkin. Yuck. So guys, leave me a comment in down below whether I should your views on a, a fixed bed or a, the type of a, a bench bed. What sort of route do you think we should go down? Um, because I'm really undecided on what I want to do. Um, I don't know whether to have a fixed bed or a bench type bed. So we have a bench on the passenger side and a bench on the driver's side with a table in the middle, which then can, can collapse. You pull the cushions down, it turns you it turns into a bed. Or the fixed bed will give me more more storage space because we have a garage at the back. Um, let me know in the comments what you think I should do. That's all the side panels off now guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have a clean up and take all these panels out of the van that I've just got off. And then our next job will be to take the flooring up. Which is one I'm not looking forward to because the screws, they tend to rust in the floor and give you problems on getting them out. So I'll just have a clean up and then I'll be right back. Catch you in a minute. Actually guys, welcome back, uh, I've just got rid of all the panels out of the van now, um, the wooden ones, the ply ones we're going to keep, because uh, that this ply it might come in handy later on for the build, but there are some panels that I've forgotten before we start the floor, and that is the panels on the doors, so I'm going to do the back doors first, and then we'll do the side door, so let's go ahead and do the back doors. I've noticed something with this back door and notice this when I went to buy the van that the back door doesn't quite shut properly at the bottom now I think that it's had a smack in the back door um, I can see where it's been resprayed um, the chassis is okay I checked all that that's not bent but I think the door's slightly out of shape um, so now I, I pulled the cards off I can actually see what's going on so let me take the camera over and you can have a look. So, what's happening guys, the, the, the door doesn't actually... Uh, let me lower you down a bit. So what's happening guys, the, the door doesn't shut into the bottom hinge. Now, it, it, it locks at the top one, that's fine, but the bottom one... It rattles and doesn't hit the catch. Now that will annoy the hell out of me. Um, now the reason why I think this back door's had a hit at some point, something's hit the back door, is 
it's been resprayed. Um, there's a few telltale signs that it's happened. Um, there's quite a bit bent on it. And not only that, over in the corner over there, the door has actually split and got a great big crease in it. So let me just open the door and show you. So I don't know if you can see that, so I'll just zoom into it for you. There you go, can you see that now? Look, it's got this great big crease in here, yeah, and a dent. Um, so, in my view, yeah, so that, that makes me think that these doors have had a little knock, apart from the, the spray job that's been done. So, for this reason, I actually, um, when I went to buy the van, I picked this up, I, I noticed this, and for that reason, I managed to get the price dropped by about a thousand pound, roughly a thousand pound. Um, do you think I should have uh, not bought the van or do you think that's going to be repairable? Let me know in the comments and how you think I should repair that and or whether I need to get a new door. Yeah? Right, so that's all the panels off of that door. So I'm now going to do this door. Alright guys, that's it all stripped out now. I've taken all the panels off the sides. Yeah, all the panels off the doors. Yeah, I've also taken up all the flooring. And as you can see, the flooring is absolutely minging. Yeah. Uh, we've also taken out the bulkhead. Uh, so for the first day, we ain't done too bad. Oh, oh yes, I've also repaired the back door. Uh, I found it was to be... This bracket down here was bent. So I've straightened all that out and re-drilled the holes a little bit to make it fit. Uh, so my next job will be to uh, give it a good clean in here, then go and fill all the holes in the floor and treat them with uh, a bit of red oxide and uh, a bit of white paint. Um, luckily, I can't find any rust at all wheel welches no rust around there the wet spot that i was concerned about at the beginning turns out it just must have been the board just wet, got wet at some point because there's no no evidence of water or anything getting in through there uh the only problem we, we got is that um that uh wheel arch there is a bit of bit of a dip but they're going to be covered anyway so I'm not too worried about them so guys I think I'm going to call it a day for now um, we've done quite a bit today so I'll see you on the next one when we start cleaning it all out and filling the holes so speak to you next time see you guys bye smile upon my face cause there's excitement in the chase this I know yeah I'm going for the ride and by myself I am alive and I saw still I run towards the wind and let the child